Two Freyas are surrounding this guy, though. Katarina. What can you do? Freya with some Griffin Opernicus thingies. Ellie. I've looked at you before, haven't I? You're the cockatrice unit. And you're on your way. Fan friggin' tastic. You wanna know I liberated Pedoze? Oh my! Okay, I wasn't expecting that much of an ambush. There are many legends about Mother Birth here. The area of Capitrium, the land of Advent. Mother Birth called this home when people and gods coexisted. Whatever you say, ma'am. Eh, no, I'm not one to undermine your faith or anything. Why does that unit keep running away? Anyway. Regardless, or is it irregardless? Live and think. Eh, easy enough unit. Just a Voltan, some very weak Hawkman, and a Griffin. Aha! Firestorm! What spell did I give you, Meridia? Ice Field, that's right. They're opposite elements, but they should be able to combine? Question mark? Hmm. <laughs> we'll see. And Firestorm. And Hitting Plus. And Ice Field. I'm probably going to change the Ice Field, to be honest, to something that I'm more certain combines with the fire. Poor Meridia. She kind of took a beating. Maybe I should send Vega's unit to take out the rest of that one. Yeah, the only threat here is from the Raven to Meridia, I should say. So the healing is going to be more than enough. Icefield! Meridia needs to game a few levels, too. She Remember, she joined us a little under-leveled compared to everybody else. So... This is good, right here. This is very good. Angus, that's unit, doesn't need the experience, that's for sure. I still have that Voltan in his unit, <laughs> waiting for the ladies to die and become angel knights. This is going well, though. I like. I like a lot. Yeah, Vega, go see if you can do anything about them. Uh, Kotro, let's see if you can do anything about this. Because that's bad. That's very bad. Dude! Gonna hit some gnarly half pipes while you hang ten, alright, man? I'm a Californian, I have to say something like that once, uh, like once a week or they kick you out. I know, I know, stupid laws, so many laws. But what are you gonna do? Ow, my head! Oh no, windstorm. It's, it's so much damage, I'm so scared. So very scared. So, 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 so scared. Anyway. On to the actual things that are going on, which is not much. Leia's unit has a tendency to spread its damage around, and I'm actually kind of curious now that I think about it. Nope, they're still an attack leader. Perfect opportunity to use an elemental Pedra, of course. And I'm like, Pedras? Where are those? And once again, I forget the Pedras are influenced by my commands of who to target. But Leia's unit is, oh, their alignment is starting to shrink down a bit, which is good and on purpose. Bolt has reached his destination, which means Europea. Let's head you up here. In the meantime, 
Thank you, Seth. You've done quite well in not getting involved, so let's get you involved, shall we? No, I think I'll stay there. In the meantime, wind. Let's start heading you up. You're going to have to rest when you get there, though. Morse, back him up. Troy, you're more than healthy enough now. Oops, drive by. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? They're, they're both going parallel to each other, and all of a sudden they're like, okay, now it's time to murder you. Kodro laughs at your pathetic attempts at damage. Mesmerize! That's right, services have magic in the back row. <laughs> Oops! Mesmerize! Asleep! Well done, puppies! Is it three times? No, oh, it's only two. That was actually a, I was actually considering if that was a viable strategy to move the servers to the back row, but if they only get two attacks, nah. Leave that stronghold alone, you ass! Sheet you. Uh, better not. Go draw. Go to the stronghold. Thank you, Seth. Stronghold. And Troy, you finally get to fight Muller! Deal the two attacks you need to do to get him. Never mind, one. Ow! That noise was my fingers hitting my desk. Ow. <laughs> bell of Thunder? The hell's a Bell of Thunder? I suppose I should check after this. Alright. Enough being overly cautious. Let's move myself up. While Vega chases down the gerber gerber gerber. It seems she only wants to attack if we're on the road. Hmm, interesting. Europea! Oh, she's gonna accidentally capture that down if I'm not careful. I need to make sure I send her somewhere else. All that's dead is their leader. Ugh, the state of things in this game. It's such a cheap strategy that doesn't work on you, which is part of the hilariousness of it. Because you, once you have more than one character in a unit that can lead a unit, they fo focus fire your leader, you're just like, eh, swap leader. And it's literally no big deal. Of course, then you have a dead character you have to take care of. So that is a big deal. But well, you know what I'm saying. A cheap mechanic that the enemy can't use, that you can, is... Annoying, especially in how much you have to end up using it. Well, I say have to, you really don't, but... This is one of those games where you start at 100% and from there you constantly get weaker. Like, any damage you do to a unit weakens it. And if you get rid of a character in that unit, you have just weakened that unit permanently. So... You know... Hopefully you won't accidentally capture the stronghold. Go there, then there, Europea. <laughs> Stupid raven unit. Urr, Voltant. No, that's a raven. Urr, I'm, I'm getting tired. So tired. Right next to my base. Tired. Wind. I'm going to say go to the stronghold, but then I'm going to order you to rest. Still trying to think of how to deal with that cockatrice unit. It's goddamn it. Yes, Troy. Uh, rest for the hell of it. Ditto to you, Morse. Alright. So once again. I scare you away. Um, speaking of scaring away... Uh, 
What would happen if I do this? In fact, Inkaseth stopped there on the road. Now what happens here? You're gonna come all the way over here, aren't you? Huh. Well, at least I can lure you out. Let's hope Inkaseth can do enough work. Yeah, his, his poor priest is gonna get in trouble, but so is the Voltan, and I don't really care much about the Voltan. If everything goes right, and I'm really lucky, I might get four Angel Knights at the end of this mission. No, petrified. No, petrified. Oh, good. God, he does damage. Oh, oh my. I almost let that poor priest die. That would have been bad, 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 bad. Where's the store? Not Paduzzi. Not Perlova. Not Alista. Not Serena. Not Luga. Not Balta. It's for Sushi. Well then. Whip of Exorcism. A physical whip? That's odd. I would have pegged that whip for being a uh, virtue elemental. Anyway, Glaive of Champion. Let's get two. Oops. No, keep shopping. I want to see equipment. Armor, I mean. Eh, not really. Let's buy some revive stones. Yes, I know, I already have six. Oops. Nope. Now let's get Bolt out of here, shall we? I I kind of forgot him. Sorry, Bolt. Kodro. Guess what? They turned their back to you. What do your dogs have to say about that? I think I know what they have to say about that. Chicken dinner. Yummy. Yes, peck at our, our poor faces. We're just going to rip you limb for limb. That's all. <laughs> I just love this unit. It's just chase them down and it's a hunting party is what it is. And it's glorious. So let's get into the mountains, shall we, Kodro? Wind, wakey wakey. You have a town to liberate. I think I'm just gonna send Ankaseth all the way down, because he does have two units that are right, two characters that are completely out of commission at the moment. Alright, Morris and, and Troy follow up. I want them all to be on the stronghold pretty much as close as possible to each other, because obviously ambush, so I want them all ready. You're supposed to keep following the top until you find them. And then you're supposed to eat them. Dude. Oops, that's not at all who I meant to click on. Vega. Did you recover that quickly? I could have sworn you just set up camp. Huh. Oh well, daytime is nearing. So we'll be able to see what Bisque looks like not turned into a werewolf. Ah, oh, Europea, darn it. Kudro! Sick'em! More chicken dinner! Only this one is also a lion dinner. wonder what lion tastes like. That would, that's a horrible thought to have. 
You don't want to eat lions. They're pretty much endangered. That that would be bad. Ignore me. And just stay up there. You like the mountains, don't you, Kodro? I liberated Luga. Oh my. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll discuss that in a moment. First, into stronghold. Wait, it's nearing day. <laughs> Former Platonian soldiers showing the revolution, right? Many must already be familiar with Archbishop Oderon. It was custom for him to speak at graduation at the military academy. I would assume General Karakov has taken on that task. Oh goody, Karakov. I hate that name right now. Anyway. Wyatt, the vampire. We missed him. He just barely. He hid inside his coffin. Because it just hit daytime. That is what vampire units are like. The vampire in the unit immediately immobilizes everybody else inside that unit. However, we have other company. During the night, they're very powerful characters. Amazons? Really? And what about you? The pumpkin heads! I was wondering when they would show up. That is to say, god damn it. Wake up, Europea. And just go straight up. You'll be fine, Bolt. Well, I think it's about time to start heading on the base. Of course, we just have the east to worry about, they'll, but they'll defend themselves fine. I am somewhat worried about the pumpkin head unit, don't get me wrong. It's just that with two units staying on the base, that means they'd have to beat both of them before I had a chance to murder their faces off, which isn't going to happen. This unit I'm not worried about, not in the slightest. It looks like they were trying to go for angel knights. Look, it's an all-female unit. And then they were like, oops, we accidentally got zombies. A shame, really. Boom! And the zombies, of course, are just going to come right back. Oh, I should have turned that one into a ghost. Or one of them, at least. It's a chance on hit, so who knows. Oh, goody! Now between the Ninja Master and Dio... Haha! <laughs> full wipeout one turn. Or one round? No, I think it's a round... A round is a full attack from your team, and a turn is... Everybody's full attacks? I don't think they actually have a specific terminology in this game for that. And I'm actually reversing it because in a D&D sense, a round is everybody's attack, and a turn is one person's individual setup for a round. So maybe I should reverse that. Of course, if they use official terminology, I'm just going to get it wrong. Plus my storm! Ooh, paralyzed the pumpkin man! One of them pumpkin heads, I mean. Thankfully, they have no way of attacking us out of range. Element to Pedra, I'm going to abuse you. Go, my lightning birds! Zapdos, murder them all! Yes, this is going quite well, thank you. Plasma Storm! And everybody's dead. Wipe them out in one round. Wait, wouldn't it be multiple rounds? <laughs> Why am I trying so hard to figure out this terminology? I know I'm just going to ignore it later in the game and come up with whatever terminology I decide to go with then. Anyway, this is what happens when a uh, vampire during the day. They hide inside their coffin. Upside! Extremely high defense. Really hard to kill a uh, vampire inside its coffin. Downside, the unit itself can no longer move. And the vampire's attack is that. They don't have an attack. They just peek their head out. can't say I remember ever fighting a vampire in any of my previous playthroughs of the game. In fact, it's entirely possible that by this point in the game, I quit playing. 
I think I had this idea that, oh, once I got the advanced classes, there's not really much progression left in my characters, but I wasn't terribly interested in continuing the play. That sounds like something I would do, but, I mean, looking ahead, there's a lot of equipment still to be gained, there's special classes to unlock, and there's interesting fights coming up. And why did I lose that fight? Hmm. I could really use some virtue. Elemental attacks. Oh, Biscay! What the? Oh, it's already nighttime! I forgot to look at Biscay the human. Well then. Come back here, Wyatt. Trying to consider if I should just fight Biscay during the night. Okay, let's just have folks stop. In fact, Morris should camp to gain some health. Once Bolt gets here, I think I'm just going to full-blown charge. I think I can handle Biscay during the night. And I really want to see what happens with my undead unit. Or my potentially undead unit. Yeah, potentially undead unit. Because they're not undead yet. Wind, you guys had took a beating. You need rest still. All right, once Bolt's had enough rest that I'm confident he can make it there. Oh, now it's daytime. Wow, time is passing super fast. All right, Biscay, the Lycanthrope, human. Not terribly interesting. But yes, you can get Biscay as part of your your characters, or team, if you're a chaotic leaning chaos frame. No, I'm not gonna send myself first. I'm gonna send Bolt first. And he has the exact same mechanics as you see in this fight. That is to say, during the day, he will be a human with mediocre-ish stats and equipment draw. And during the night, he's a full-blown frickin' werewolf. Alright, everybody. Continue onward. And I'll go ahead and charge myself in as well. Your Pia, I told you to go after him. Go, shoot. You have a flying unit to chase down. Alright, Katarina. You wanted to run into Zibolt first? Zibolt will run into you just fine. I forgot to send you set you to attack leader. It's just so weird to me that your best way to focus- well, I guess your best way to focus fire is technically attack weakest in this game. Yeah, ignore me. I was about to go on a diatribe about how attack leader is just so efficient because it makes you focus fire so well, but the attack weakest probably does it better. Oopsies. Didn't mean to press that button. We'll be fine, though. A little healing. Good as new. I'm saving up my elemental pedras for Biscay, because it looks like I'll probably be attacking him at night. And dead. And yeah, I got more Glaive of Champions than I needed, because I only have two Swordmasters. But still, better safe than sorry. Oop, Bolt's gonna go after Wyatt now. Oh, look, <laughs> another... Uh, another war of attrition. Ow! You weren't supposed to crit me like that. It hurts my face. Well, Bolt's face. Peeks out his little coffin. It's so cute! Wait, you put my healer to sleep. Let's go ahead and do this final set of attacks. Ugh! Right, that should be all their attacks, but I still want to run with Bolt. Yep, running. Bolt taking way too much damage. And accomplished essentially nothing. Do you always lose against a vampire? That's right, they're immobile! Anybody who's immobile automatically wins all fights. This is bad. 
They just guarded their boss with a boss. A boss that you can't kill. Attack weakest, people. I've got two Virtue Elements attacks in, in Vega's group, and I just realized. F spread out the, the love. Spread out the love. We have yet to see what a vampire does when they're awake, too. Which, by the way, sucks. Not. I didn't mean that as a vampire pun. I apologize to anybody I harmed with that vampire pun. That was irresponsible of me. Of course, it counts as a loss. Darn it! <laughs> this was a mistake! <laughs> I need Bolt to stop, or I need to use an item to heal. Attack weakest! I have no virtue here! Guard! Ow! No, don't put her to sleep! Yes! Resist! Very well done! Heal the enemy! Don't you know if this, is, if this was like Final Fantasy, if you heal the undead, they might, you know, die. And we're going to accomplish nothing, because once again we can't kill- This is an amazing strategy! If you are ever considering an undead unit to be like your block, your tank, this is the strategy you should use. Because this is amazing right here. If you don't fight someone with virtue attacks, wow, you just can't break through this. It's just a con permanently regenerating wall. No, I need Bolt. Granted, now that I can get around them because I'm actually paying attention, this isn't a big deal. Heal Leaf. On yourself. Actually, I'm going to have you camp to heal up the rest of your health. And myself, I'm going to say go here first, and then go there. Yep, at this point I'm going to be attacking him during the night. Night just hit. Now. Wow. Well, this is bad. I've been waiting for you. Because of you, I'm free of my cell. Grateful, but you just had to show up at night, didn't you? The darkness grants me inhuman power. No one can defeat me. Fight me if you wish to be engulfed in darkness for all eternity. Ow, that hurt my throat. Anyway, let's see how bad it is. Nah, not too worried about you. Okay then, that's an effective attack. Get that last dog attack in. And I've weakened you enough, thankfully. Alright, so he's roughly twice the attack power of his Black Knights with an attack that puts you to sleep. That's the danger of a werewolf, I suppose. Alright, attack leader. Ow, Vega. Oh, Vega, Vega, Vega. I should have faster back row, though. I do. So I do get to heal. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. That looked painful. Eesh! I'm not gonna run. Because I have a heal still. So? Pedro of Virtue. Flying squirrels! Attack! Show them the virtue you hold! Apparently. And one more heal. And that's 
in case Biscay has another attack. Does he have a third attack in the middle row? Wait, are we still only on second? No, we're on third. Okay. Good. Biscay only has two attacks from the middle row. And yes, I'm going to keep calling him Biscay. Because I'm not going to call him Bisk. Because that's a food. Oh, I guess we get to see what happens when you fight a vampire during the night. And what happens when you have a vampire. They get focus fired. Because you stupidly leave them open to attack. And potentially killed? Almost killed. So, two hit points left to show you what they do. Life drain! Boop! Exactly! A 1 to 1 ratio attack health, uh, attack heal. So, as you can see, pretty significant, pretty strong. And that was him in the middle row. Probably gets more attacks in the back row. Maybe it's a more powerful attack. So, if you're considering a vampire, which we don't have the means to get one yet, it's fairly certain of that, at least. And notice how the vampire didn't come back. This is what I meant when I said certain undead do not react to virtue. They can just die. And they re will react to being killed like any other character would, as uh, even if they weren't undead. This is, I think, true of the Angel Knight Seraphim. Ow! Oh, I can't get over how strong that attack is. Firestorm! Boosh! Thankfully, I've got very powerful heals on my side, and a very pissed off Siren. You get some pretty darn interesting characters if you're in the uh, low chaos frame bracket. But, I mean, you also get some pretty interesting characters in the lawful. You get, like, Saradin is interesting. Uh, basically, all the Bolomukans are have, are interesting in some way. <sighs> that is to say, hmm, never mind. Ignore that I said that. <laughs> it occurs to me I may have said something I shouldn't have. Anyway, that's the end of Biscay. Do, do, do. We got the Evil Blade. Not sure who can use the Evil Blade. Melanie turned into a zombie. You're not supposed to turn into a zombie. No! You had the thing equipped! Hmm. I think if I left that unit alive still and had and had them use the, keep the item in bay. Okay, what happened there, I think, is that because they all died, the unit got disbanded. And because the unit got disbanded, it didn't show that they had the Matsaba's Barrier equipped anymore. And because they didn't have Matsaba's Barrier equipped, they became zombies. That's what I think happened. You're Ankaseth, kid. Like father, like son, I guess. Can't believe I got beat twice. There's nothing else that binds you to this world. Rest in peace. You better save this kingdom, or else. Man, I'm so tired. Okay, so we still have room to make more uh, very powerful undead ladies, though. We just happen to have two zombies. Oops. What do you think you're doing? Let go of me now! Oh no. Hold him still. That that's not good. Is that what I think it is? Get that away from you, Mill. Now be a good boy. This won't take long. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Oh, man. Oh, my. That's not what happened before. What the? Oh, man. 
N no! You guys were fodder. I don't bet the person in charge knew exactly what was going to happen. What's happening? No! You know. I don't even trust this lady. Mari? S stand back. No, don't come near. Oh god, he's gonna kill her, isn't he? Or? It's alright, you mill my lord. I'm here with you. Please get a hold of yourself. What one is happening to me? Hatred rage flows within me. Power, the darkness, engulfs me. What is this feeling? Who are you? Your memories, emotions. I can feel your presence within me. No, I'm you, Mel. Power? Yes, grant me power. Okay, he's talking to someone, and we cannot see them. This is a problem. Yes, my lord. Accept it. That is your power. This world, everything is within your grasp. Oh, Yumil, my love, always be at your side. So many things wrong with this situation, and we can do nothing of it. Because we have no idea where he is, what is going on, who is doing it, and if there's anything we can do to reverse it at this point. Fan friggin' tastic. Well, thank you very much for watching.